Earlier this morning, Friday, January 12th, 2024, Delta Airlines announced before their Q4 earnings conference the purchase of 20 Airbus A350-1000s. These aircraft are set to have deliveries begin in 2026. In addition to the 20 new A350-1000s, the airline also has the purchase options for an additional 20 wide-body aircraft. Delta now joins its SkyTeam partner Virgin Atlantic, who currently operates the 1000, as well as the Air France KLM Group, who announced an order of the 1000 as well as more 900s earlier this year. Due to its larger center fuel tank, the A350-1000 can hold about 30,000 pounds more fuel than the A350-900, giving the 1000 a range of 8,700 nautical miles. This increases the range over the 900 by 400 nautical miles on the PIPS-equipped A350s and 700 nautical miles over the original non-PIPS A350s in Delta's fleet. The increased fuel range and the 14-ton greater payload will become very helpful on some of Delta's long-haul flights. In 2020, amidst the COVID pandemic, Delta retired its smaller fleet of 18 777-200ER and LR aircraft. The airline was taking a fleet simplization approach and also cited the A350's 21% less fuel burn per seat. After the resumption of most of the international flying exiting the pandemic, the A350 has struggled on the Atlanta to Joburg route due to the range, making it a payload-optimized flight. Although not currently operating the larger A350-1000 model, Delta is no stranger to the A350, with 28 A350-900s currently in its fleet and 16 more still on order. The airline became the American launch customer in 2017 when they phased out their Boeing 747 fleet in favor of the brand new Airbus A350-900. Delta's inaugural A350 flight took place in late October 2017 from Detroit, Michigan to Narita, Japan, while the final 747 revenue flight arrived at Detroit in December 19, 2017 from Incheon, South Korea. Besides the new orders Delta had for the A350, in July 2021, Delta announced the acquisition of nine used ex-LATAM A350-900s. They would pull them from long-term storage in Victorville. These aircraft would require extensive conversion time before flying for Delta due to the modifications required to the aircraft and wiring to switch out the lithium-ion batteries the FAA would not allow U.S. carriers to operate with. Another aspect of the Airbus A350 Delta is no stranger to is its Rolls-Royce Trent XWB turbofan engines. With its large facility at the company's headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, Delta Tech Ops MRO is the only North American repair organization licensed to overhaul the engine. In 2019, Delta Tech Ops opened its brand new state-of-the-art engine test cell, which is now one of the largest in the world. The new facility is capable of handling the Trent XWB engine as well as all of the smaller engines that MRO is contracted to repair and overhaul. Delta currently operates two different cabin configurations on its A350-900s. The first, which is used on the legacy Delta aircraft, features 306 seats in a four-class cabin configuration. It is laid out with 32 Delta One suites, 48 premium select seats, 36 Comfort Plus seats, which were not originally installed on the first 13 A350s, and 190 main cabin seats. The XLATAM A350s, known as the 35L, feature a much more controversial cabin, holding 339 passengers without Delta One suites. This configuration is broken down into 30 lay flat seats, 63 Comfort Plus seats, and 246 main cabin seats. On top of the two current cabin configurations, Delta's booking site shows a new third config on its Atlanta to Johannesburg flights. This new configuration, rumored to be called the 35H, reduces the total number of seats to 275. The newest cabin will feature 40 Delta One suites, 40 premium select seats, 36 Comfort Plus seats, and 159 main cabin seats. With the 35H and the not yet revealed 35K configurations, Delta will have a total of four different A350 cabins until the XLATAM 350Ls are converted. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this aviation news video. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe for more content. If you would like to see more videos on the A350, check out the Aircraft Explained series playlist that's full of videos explaining the ins and outs of aircraft systems, many featuring the A350. Also, don't forget to check out the AV News playlist to check out the rest of the Insider Aviation News videos.